What's up YouTube, your old school expert, and today I'm opening um, what is actually a box of first edition Dark Crisis. It's a 24 pack box and I scaled the heavy packs and I'm going to open them and I'm keeping the other ones sealed. Uh, they're here. These are the, the lighter packs. This one was like so-so. It was kind of heavy, but I don't think it's going to be a foil, so I'm not going to open it. But um, those are going to stay in my collection and uh, I'm going to go ahead and open. These are uh, the right side and then these three were on the left side so we'll open the right side in this video and then in another video we'll open the left side and see which side was better so we'll get started this first pack here was kind of lighter than the rest also so this might be a rare um, it's probably a rare because getting seven foils from these old boxes is not very easy you often only end up with six so yeah it looks like this one might actually be a rare let's see Yep, oh, it's a good rare, Great Maju uh, Garzette. That's a really good rare. Um, I have this complete set already, so I don't need anything from here. That's why I'm not gonna open the box. I'd rather just keep the pack sealed and just keep them in my, in my collection. Uh, but the foils, I mean, there's no reason to keep a foil uh, pack sealed, right? So, gotta open them up. All right, so what I'm really hoping for, of course, Exodia Necros, I mean, obviously, but um, I would really like a, um, I guess Reflect Bounder. Um, I don't know what else I really want from this set. Uh, I want to say there's a super rare that I really want because I've never pulled it, but I can't really think about it. But I mean, I would be happy with anything. I think Skull Archfiend of Lightning is in this set. So that would be really nice. It's a really cool card. Um, of course, Vampire Lord. I don't have one PSA graded, so I'd love to get one. So we got Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong. Uh, Fairy of the Spring, DD Trainer, Agito, and an upside down Berserk Dragon. Sick. That's a cool super. I don't think that's the one I was thinking of, but that is real cool. I love the artwork on this guy. Hopefully, this is in good enough condition to send it to PSA. It looks pretty solid. So we'll see though, because see that, like, that, those kind of markings, that stuff can definitely take it down. But we'll see. That's really cool. We got Final Countdown, always nice. Um, final Countdown deck, like, it's really hard to get Final Countdown out, but if you get it first turn, like, forget it. There's so much stuff you can stall with, it's ridiculous. We got Sekretu Armor. This card was really good when this set came out because it was like a miniature Mirror Force, because Mirror Force was limited to one. And so this was a nice little one for one trap. Rod of Mind's Eye. Blindly Loyal Goblin, Mustering of the Dark Scorpion, and another Upside Down. It is a Guardian Gararl. Not really into the Guardians very much. Uh, so that's, I mean, I guess it's not disappointing because I don't even know if I have one. But this one doesn't look like it's got those markings on the back. So that's cool. Oh, you know what a Butterfly Dagger Elma would be sweet? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I would definitely enjoy that. So here we go, how about a butterfly dagger? Last pack on the right side. Usually I'm, I, I have better luck on the left side, so we'll see if that stays true. Shooting Star Bow Seal, Frozen Soul, Staunch Defender, Archfiend's Roar, and it's a trap, Spell Vanishing. That's a cool trap. It's got like a, it almost looks like Breaker, who's on here. I'm not sure if that is officially Breaker. <clears throat> but it looks like him. And we got Falling Down. That's a good card for Arch Fiends. So we'll do a quick recap. Let me throw these in some sleeves. Just in case they are in good enough condition to send off for grading. Keep them scratch free. So we got a Berserk Dragon, which is probably my favorite pull so far. A Spell Vanishing, um, probably my second favorite. And then Guardian Growl, really not... I just never liked the Guardians, they weren't very good, uh, and the artwork is not, I mean it's alright, it looks kind of weird, but anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video, this is a very nostalgic set for me, so um, I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for part two, which is three more scaled packs, hopefully uh, Vampire Lord, I don't know, we'll see, alright, stay tuned.